So then, Jono, 5-0 win, coming into the game on the back of a good run, but did you expect it to go as well as it did? We expected to win, we expected to get the three points, that's you know that's what we, we prepared for. Um, obviously, we, we know how good failed are and what they've done this season. Um, if someone that said to us we'd win 5-0, um, we probably wouldn't have believed it. You know, it's nobody does that to failed. Um, and it sends a bit of a message out, not, you know, not, not even just to, to the league and, and to fire, but it sends a message out to our own, you know, everyone here as well, that, that, that we mean business. You know, it's not a case of just seeing the season out, hopefully scraping into the players. We, we're going to, you know, we're going to try and ch chase fire down. It's not just down to us, it's down to other sides and, and, and things like that. But, um, you know, the, the boys mean business at the minute. You can see, it, as you said, after winning 4-0 and 3-0 um, and, and the run prior to getting beat at Halifax, I think that was 9-10. <laughs> that was 9 out of 10 um, unbeaten so yeah the, the actual run's been been pretty good <laughs> um, so Salford, uh, sorry Fylde looked to pressure you clearly quite high up at the start of the game at least and it looked as though that might cause you some problems but in the end it seemed to help you in the way it created space in behind is that something you'd look to exploit coming into the game? Yeah we knew, we knew, we knew obviously we'd be full time in the way they train that, that, and, and, and with the reports that we had that, that, that they like to put the press on the pitch isn't always conducive. This obviously this time of year to, to play pretty football. And we just um, watched the turn them early doors. First ten minutes was awful. It was an awful game. You know they, they had us on the back foot a little bit. But we, we said prior to the game if we could turn them, the two centre halves aren't the quickest. Um, we could get in, into the channels and behind them. Um, we could cause them problems. But as I say, you know the, the first ten minutes pretty much failed. But then after that, I thought it, although it was a, a really scrappy game and we we don't the right to, to, to play football especially the second half obviously at two up at half time the lads sort of uh were really confident we're trying to play trying to do the right things but as, as, as you said there we, we had to bypass what they they were very good at got into the channels uh, and we killed them at times i remember i spoke to bernard after a 3-3 draw you had with boston back in november and there was a bit of um Annoyance at how defensive issues seem to be causing you problems. No sign of that at all today. What's changed between November and now, do you think, that has enabled you to stop conceding goals? Cutting out mistakes. We don't overplay at the back. Um, as I say, it all comes down to time of year and pitches you're playing on. We don't, we don't overplay at the back. Um, we seem to have found a formula with a back four where um, we've not had an injury amongst the four of them, although Grandy was a walking wounded today. Um, and... You know, you get that consistency. You know, the lads start to understand each other a little bit better. Who's the quickest out of the two, and, and who puts the cover on? Who, who goes and wins the first ball? Who drops off? So we, we've got that bit of consistency with them. Um, but I also think when I look back to that run when we didn't win for seven, you know, we, it came after um, not losing for eight. And I think what had happened was coming into a new league and a lot of new players in the new league probably thought, you know, it's, it's not too bad this. And then we took our foot off the gas, not meaning to. And we went on that run. We lost four out of the seven, but we only lost by, by the odd goal, and it was mistakes. When we look back, we've got we have a reel of every goal conceded, and it's just our, our own mistakes. You know, sides weren't scoring good goals against us. We've cut that out, and as I said, you know, talking about the, the same with, with the lads going forward, um, the confidence is there now amongst everyone. Jay's not even had to make a save today against the top of the league, and uh, that comes down to the back four, the two boys in front of them, and pressing ourselves from the front. You briefly mentioned that um, you want to chase down Fylde, or at least try to. The gap's now nine points. There's 14 games to go in the league. Is it a case now that? Anything other than promotion would be a disappointment. What's the aim for Salford now for the rest of the season? Well, the aims for, for, for me and Bernard, as, uh, to, the, to the lads, has always been top five. You know, we wanted to get in the playoffs, but you, you only have to look around you to see who you're up against. You know, yeah. Stockport, County, Halifax, Starlings, and all ex free league clubs, Charlie, Fylde, both been at the top end of this league for the last two or three years, top clubs. Um, so we wanted to finish top five, hoping to finish top five, be amongst it at the back end of the season, maybe squeeze into it. Uh, nine points is a, is a big gap to, to close, but the reason I said that is because Fylde have got a tough run coming up you know um, and hopefully with us what, what, what we've done against Fylde will give everyone a bit more confidence to open up perhaps against Fylde because I think sides try and sit back and up to pinch them you can't do it against Fylde they'll, they'll batter you so hopefully the sides around us will, will, will have a go a little bit more um, maybe take points off Fylde if not Fylde take points off them then it gives us you know that little bit more cushion if we win our games for the playoffs as well so um, We've got to be confident. You know, we're looking good if we, if we can keep picking up the points and, 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 and file perhaps drop here and there. So, listen, Kidderminster on the same points. There'll be two games in hand. They'll be, they're the side who, who people will be fearing now. I mean, we, we beat them 3-0 here, but they've not got to play us again. We're not going to play them, obviously, and um, they'll be looking at, at chasing foul down and, and, and hopefully you know, there'll be one or two results that, that you probably wouldn't have expected due to the pressure now that's on sides. And just briefly a word on Hume's hat-trick. It was a lovely little finish for the penalty at the end. 
he's deserved that. He's been um, so consistent this season. He doesn't get the applauded because he doesn't score the amount of goals, uh, the amount of goals of a Phoenix, perhaps. But his general work rate, his all-round work rate, is uh, the way he gets on the ball, the way he gives the platform to build from. Um, he's, he's priceless to the team. Um, so we were buzzing when he got when he got the got the three goals.